we are sitting here with some of the uh, accoutrements of your life's work, Miss Miss Kerr, especially the potatoes. Can you tell me a little bit about your family history with food and farming and particularly the potatoes? Well, potatoes are really important to my family. Um, my The family's legacy um, is from three generations of potato farmers and um, also the recipe for Miss Vicky's potato chips that I created in 1987 on our farm. And that is a family recipe? Um, that I created that recipe for my children because at the time in the 80s um, all snack food had hydrogenated oils and BHA, BHT and I thought why not try to make something natural. So I used the potatoes my husband Bill was growing. Um, I sliced the potatoes a little thicker than conventional ones at the time. We actually created a new category. I left the skins on and I cooked them in 100% pure oil with no preservatives and then I sprinkled them with sea salt because that's what I used on my table at home. Excellent. Why would you leave the skins on? Well, most of a potato's nutrition is just under the skin. Potassium, vitamin C, um, the B complex vitamins are in potatoes and also the skins are an important source of fiber. Well, food is obviously still a huge part of your life, always will be. And to that end, you have a brand new cookbook, Miss Vicky's Kitchen. Can you tell us a little bit about what readers will find in your new cookbook? Well, Miss Vicky's Kitchen is a collection of my family recipes. Some of them are handed down um, from my mother-in-law and from my family, and some of them I created myself. But mainly, they're um, the legacy that uh, I'd like to leave to my children because my, and now my grandchildren, so that they'd have the recipes at their fingertips. They're simple, easy to read, um, nothing is complicated and that they'd be able to create them whenever they felt like having something from grandma or mom. Very nice. Is there a potato chip recipe in here? There is. There's a big section on potatoes because potatoes were very important to us. <laughs> Did you eat most of your meals together at the dinner table? Yep, every night. No TV. Um, that was a thing in our house where my dad and my mom really wanted to make sure that we were all together, sitting around, having a really good meal. Uh, no fast food for us. Um, but yeah, it was it was probably the best childhood, I mean, for any kid. Does that impact your eating habits to this day? Yes. Um, no fast food? Well, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, I have had my share of fast food, um, but my, my daughter is nine months, and we are strictly organic. We make all her own baby food. Oh, wow. um, she is one well-fed baby. <laughs> <laughs> Can you recall your favorite potato-based thing that your mom ever made? Her twice-baked potatoes are really good. Like that's my, it's probably the creme de la creme right there. Uh, your mom was also an entrepreneur in an area where she founded a company to teach English as a foreign language and you are now running that company. Can you tell me just a little bit about the company and what you do there? Yeah, sure. Um, it's called the Arizona Language Center and the TEFL Academy of Arizona. We have lots of different services that we offer. Um, we have translation services. We have um, we do interpreting events with different languages. Um, our TEFL Academy uh, will do a TEFL certificate. It's teaching English as a foreign language. So people will come to us if they're seeking a job change or career, you know, a big career change. They'll want to go and teach overseas. Um, we specialize in teaching adults at our school. So we do um, basically English um, and then we do some Spanish private and group classes as well. Excellent. Thank you.